So in this problem six from chapter four of Klein's second edition organic chemistry textbook, it requires a lot more um, a logical thinking and a really good, you know, firm understanding of parent chains, substituents, molecular formulas, being able to uh, draw bond line structures. And th this is where I can really illustrate where chemistry, organic chemistry starts coming in. So we've got to know everything about everything. So here we have this formula, C7H16. And it says draw a bond line structure for all isomers that for all isomers that fit the following criteria. The parent chain is pentane, and then there's two methyl groups connected to the parent chain. So if you're stuck with bond line drawings and you're just starting out, definitely by all means take it slow. One, two, three, four, five carbons, and then we just want to sketch in two methyl groups. Okay, we could put methyl groups on carbons that are next to each other far away from each other or on the same carbon and you want to be very careful that you don't repeat the same structures more than one time you don't want to draw this for example because this has let's call this carbon 2 let's call this carbon 2 this molecule isn't arranged in certain three-dimensional space so that it has a left side and a right side. I mean, it's just five carbons, and both of those carbons is connected to um, carbon two. So that, that would be called a repeat. We would call this identical, or it would be the same. And we don't want to draw a repeat-drawn molecule. So you want to think about, well, what other possibility do we have? And so here again, I'm just sketching out some stuff here. It, these are definitely not good Lewis structures because I don't have the H's drawn to the C's, but, you know, you could have two carbons like that, maybe. So all of these have pentane as the longest chain, and I'm just sticking a couple of carbons to satisfy the seven carbons of the formula, and those two carbons could be on carbons two and four, two and three, two and two, and three and three. And if you position them anywhere else, you're going to accidentally lengthen the chain. What do I mean by that? If you put a carbon on carbon 1 and 2, guess what? Now you've just increased the longest chain to 6. And the problem here says pentane is the longest chain. So that would not be a good idea. So let's draw bond line structures now that we have kind of have our scratch work. Here's five carbons. You want to put a methyl group like that and that. Here's five carbons. Put a methyl group, a methyl group. Put a methyl group, a methyl group. Put a methyl group, put a methyl group. Okay? And so uh, there are four answers to this. Maybe I shouldn't use the word A or the letter A. So you got one here, you got two here, you got three here, and you got four here. Now they're specifically saying methyl groups and two of them, so I don't want to make any ethyls or do something else. And let me check to see here. So we've got two on adjacent carbons or more lengthy carbons, two on the same carbons. And these two are different, right? If you count carefully, the longest chain, those two methyl groups are attached to carbon two. And no matter which way you count the chain this way, those two methyl groups are on carbon three. So this has four answers, and here they are, okay? Answer one, two, three, and four.